is Good Day Tampa Bay. We are all looking to save some cash, of course, with summer fast approaching and the kids cooped up inside, finding something for them to do can sometimes break the bank, but it doesn't have to. There's actually a lot of stuff for families to do and it won't cost you a cent. So joining me this morning, we have True Couponing, Couponing.com's founder, Katie Kiefer, back with us. Thanks for coming in again. You're welcome, always fun. So this summer, there are tons of big blockbusters, uh, hitting movie theaters, but what if you just don't want to shell out all that money, 1050 in some cases or more, for a ticket? I know, it can be so expensive. Well, you can go on weekday mornings and pay $1 or even pay nothing for free and bring your kids to the movies. They, um, they play all different summer or um, movies that have been popular during the year. So they're, you know, a couple weeks old, mm -hmm. G-rated, PG-rated movies, so the whole family can go for free at, um, Tuesdays and Wednesday mornings. Really? The theater. Yes, the whole I theater plays the same movie. This. So you've got plenty of, you know, it's not like you're all barring for one yeah, yeah, yeah. little theater with the seats and you won't get seats. Everyone will get seats. The whole theater plays the same movie. It, do a lot of theaters free. do this? Oh, yes, all of them in our areas. Really? Mm -hmm. That is yes. so good to know. Yeah, it's wonderful. Now, of course, you know, you don't want the kids watching movies all summer long. Any inexpensive ways to keep their minds, their growing mind sharp? Yes, definitely. Free books. So, you, you know, you usually have summer reading that you need to do, mm -hmm. and it's good to just keep up with your summer reading, keep your brain active. Mm -hmm. And so as you log those books, have your kids write it down, bring them to your local bookstore or to um, different kids, Chuck E. Cheese and um, all different stores have mm -hmm. reading log programs, and they will give you free books. And you can pick out the book of your choice, or they'll have several that you can choose from and keep your brain active and then also get a prize in the meantime. There's nothing like free. <laughs> well, yes, I love free. <laughs> yeah, and we want kids not to just read their summer reading, but books of their choice that they want to read that they're going to enjoy. Yes, reading opens up a whole world mm -hmm. of, oh, I, I love, you mm -hmm. know, favorite books that I cherish. Mm -hmm. Now, staying inside with a book, though, is an ideal for all summer long, for all kids. Right. Vacation though we know they're just out of the question for a lot of families that can't afford it are there free free staycations for families yes definitely you can stay around here look at the national parks that we have to offer those are free or you can pay one price mm. for a car to get in and then they'll have free canoe rentals or we even have a local spring that I was unaware of until I started looking at free and cheap ways to, to things to do with my kids so Yes. And you could even make a camping trip out of it, per That's se. Right. I mean, if you have a tent, maybe you can rent a tent or something like that. And, definitely, definitely. You know, make yes. it a trip. Yes. Okay. Look for those star, the, um, star showers that happen monthly. Yeah. Those are all fun. Yeah. Yes. Ways yeah. to save the summer. Good advice. Thank you so much. Thank you. And before we say goodbye, though, you've got a workshop coming up. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, Friday, May 17th, we will be in Riverview at 7 p.m. at Kids Community College Charter School. So, okay. um... Great. Come and see us. The workshops are free, and um, we'll be in Riverview this Friday. Fabulous. Friday night. And next week, Katie, you'll be back with uh, more tips, ways to avoid the biggest couponing mistakes. That's right. Let's tell you what you fear so that then you'll know exactly how to approach any problems. Great. Thank you, Katie. Thank you for Always having me. Always a pleasure. Me. Oh, happy Mother's Day. Oh, thanks. Same to you. Thank you. <laughs> and now, this is Good Day Tampa Bay. So, of course, we are all looking to save some cash. And clipping coupons is a great way to do it. Some people save thousands of dollars a year. But with computers and smartphones nowadays, you don't even need scissors to save money. Joining me this morning, we have TrueCouponing.com's founder, Katie Kiefer, back with us again. Thanks for coming back. Absolutely. So much fun. We love having you. And today we're talking about apps. That's because right. Because that's really what people are into these days. How useful are these high-tech methods when it comes to saving? Oh, they are great. You can save you can save thousands of dollars. It justifies your smartphone bill, that's for sure. Save enough money to be able to justify having that, that extra expense for the data usage. Tell us about one of your favorite apps that's out there right now. Is it Ibotta? Is that how yes, it's Yes, like Ibotta something. Ibotta. You know? okay. Ibotta. It is it. a great app. I'm not good at rebates. I forget to put the stamp uh -huh. and to address the envelope. And Ibotta is like a rebate without the stamp. It's electronic. Okay. So you buy something at the store and then you are able to um, complete tasks like you click on um, Arm & Hammer or something and, and it'll ask you to do a poll or learn a fact about something. And then you buy the product and scan your receipt and boom, the money is inside your PayPal account and you can transfer it right to your own checking account. So easy, like free, it's bonuses basically. Mm -hmm. And they're high dollar, usually they're a good amount of money. 
High dollar and bonuses, both words we like. That's right, <laughs> for sure. Now, Katie, with so many apps out there, how useful are the official store apps? Oh, when you are inside a store, it is great to think, hey, maybe this store has an app that I can use and save additional money. We were at a craft store last week and uh -huh. were able to save 60% on one regular priced item just for downloading their app while we were at the store. Then we mm -hmm. showed them the coupon at checkout. You know, you don't even have to print anything. You just show them your smartphone and you're saving more money. That's that's great. Easy. Either sometimes, you know, you might forget the coupon at home or you don't know that you're gonna stop at said craft yes, store. Yes, definitely. So that's great. Yes. So let's say, like I said, you forget all your coupons at home. Right. Is there a way you can easily find them on your smartphone? Phone, the, the coupons. Yes, yes. there are there's a, an app called Geo Coupons and it actually has stores that you can search for the store where you're in and see coupon codes to be able to um, then tell the cashier, hey, I have this coupon code, will it work? You know, ten dollars off of my purchase or mm -hmm. or fifteen dollars off and you save even more money. So they can't get you anymore and say, well, you don't have it with you. That's right. You're Now you're electronic and you got it on your phone. You're an empowered shopper. And my mom, she's so funny because she always will say, like, if she doesn't have the coupon with her, she'll ask the store clerk oh, or whoever, smart. can I use yours? Do you have one? But this way, you, it's kind of like always with you. Yes, you know? but they're not always available. So you still okay. want to take mom's advice. That is very good. <laughs> yes, because those cashiers sometimes do have extras. Mm -hmm. And so. they're nice enough to let you use it sometimes. Definitely. Now, if you don't want to wait till you're in the store to find those deals, is there an app that you can use at home? Of course. Yes, True Couponing <laughs> has an app. And of course, we share all these little tips and tricks. And we also have a little bonus where when you're inside a grocery store or drugstore, you can load, you can load the items that you're about to buy and know what you're going to spend at the checkout. So before you even get to that checkout lane, you know if you're going to bust your budget or not. Mm -hmm. You're ready to go. So love it. Makes Tell it us uh, quickly about your next couponing workshop. Oh yes, we will be in Palmetto next Saturday, March 11th, um, at the Spiritual House of Praise, 7 p.m. No, Saturday is 10 a.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Katie, so much. Next Thank week, you. school's out, and I hear you're going to be talking about some freebies for there. the summertime. Yes, lots and lots of freebies to come up for the summer. Let's Fabulous. talk about them. All right. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. And now, Fox 13 meteorologist Lindsay Milborn with your Sky Tower Omni forecast. Thousand zero down, zero percent, two years complimentary maintenance. Camry's Corolla's RAV4's Prius drastically discounted. Damn, got it for you. Battling domestic terror attacks, uncovering new threats, and critical information sharing. Joe Manchin and Mike McCall's exclusive interview on the next Fox News Sunday. Be part of our online family. Like My Fox Tampa Bay on Facebook. Rise and shine. This is Good Day Tampa Bay. Well, hey, we all know the rules of the road, but it turns out there are rules to couponing as well. Ones you need to know before you walk up to the cash register. So, what are the pitfalls? How do you avoid them? Joining me this morning, we have TrueCouponing.com's founder, Katie Kiefer, back with us. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, what are some of the most common ways people break the rules of couponing? Well, coupons are... In, uh, intended for certain items. So you might have where all juices are on sale and then one specific one, the blueberry juice or the super fruit juice that, that the company has decided to add a little marketing to, that only that flavor will be on sale with a coupon. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the store, you need to use, even though all the juices are on sale for that product line, you yes. need to use the coupon on just that one that the coupon is intended for. And so misuse can, can ruin things for the rest of us. Plus, there's quantity limits. I'd like, you know, you want to say buy as much as you want, but there are limits in place that manufacturers have deemed, ne you know, necessary for households. So when you get to the store, if the shelf is kind of barren and there's only, you know, not too many on there, why don't you go get a rain check as a mm -hmm. couponer, as a nice couponer, go get a rain check and that way you can come back the next week. And then regular customers who are coming to the store who just want to buy one or the two and they're not using a coupon, they don't get frustrated at the store. Okay. So having a little bit of coupon etiquette. Can you always nice. get a rain check? Yes, you can always get a rain check. And right. they're good for at least 30 days. And some stores will extend them depending on the circumstances when you ask a customer mm -hmm. service. And it's easy to use a rain check for a, custom, for a couponer because you're shopping a little more regularly. Right. So you don't forget them. You put them right in with your coupons and then you're in good spot. Let's talk about expiration dates. Because yes. so often I have coupons and I 
they expire because you don't think of it, you don't have them with you. Is it a hard, fast rule that we that uh, we need to follow? Yes, definitely. Um, on True Couponing, we'll put next to the coupon, watch expiration. Like, whoa, look out, <laughs> it's, it's gonna expire during this sale so that you know to shop beforehand. And that way you're not ever caught yeah. at that checkout register where it says, hey, this coupon expired, and you think, oh no, I, I didn't wanna buy that because I only wanted to use that coupon. That way you're not in limbo to have to have, you know, encounter that that awkward sit moment at the yeah. register. So yes, you need to pay attention to that. Plus, there's reasonable amounts. Like a lot of times people get emails that, that say, hey, can you, um, you know, you've got a, a large dollar amount off of an item and it's been emailed, they, they circulate through the email system. So you, you know, just ignore those. Those are most okay. likely fraudulent because they're, uh. they're a high dollar amount. Anything that doesn't seem reasonable, yeah. it's too good to be true. Gotta watch out. Can right. you make multiple copies of a coupon and combine deals? No, you cannot. And you know, the intent is people think, well, my mom is not gonna print this coupon. So I'm right. gonna use it. I'll, I'll, you know, print mine and then I'll make a copy for her and mm -hmm. save her the time and hassle. However, it is unethical and your IP address of your computer is printed right on that coupon. It's almost like embedded there and you'll get cut off from coupon from couponing and being able to print those all together. So, you need to not coup not copy coupons. Yeah. You can print two per computer, right. but it is unethical to right. make the copies of them. Okay, just so people know. And That's very it. quickly, your next wor workshop? Our next workshop is in Palmetto, next okay. Saturday, May 11th at 10 a.m. We'll be at the Spiritual House of Praise. And um, basically using coupons the right way allows everybody to maximize their savings and, and be a good consumer. And That's we like we that. Want. Next week, we're gonna talk about money-saving apps. So thank you, Katie, we'll see you then. All right, great, thanks. All right. And now, five. They're not props. Sorry. Rise and shine. This is Good Day Tampa Bay. From shampoo to medicine to snacks, it seems like you can really find it all at the pharmacy. But did you know that pharmacies are loaded with freebies? The magic word. <laughs> so our coupon expert is back with us this morning to teach us and you how to spot these steals and deals. So with us, we have TrueCouponing.com's founder, Katie Kiefer. Hey, Katie. Hello. So let's start with rewards. A lot of the pharmacies have different rewards programs. Um, you can use those in addition to in addition to coupons, right? Absolutely, yes, definitely. The grocery stores are easy because you just use coupons and it comes off of your total. But the drug stores add in another level because they give you rewards for shopping there. So you have an item, you add your coupon in, then you get rewards for buying it, and you're in the best situation you can be. How do you roll your rewards? What does that mean? Okay, rolling is a term that we use for taking an item and receiving a reward on it and then rolling that reward into the next item. So it's, it's like using that as if you're using it as a coupon. You're using that as currency to be able to buy your next product. So it's a bonus item. It's a bonus mm -hmm. reward. It's, a, it's an extra Mac Daddy money. <laughs> extra <laughs> Mac Daddy money. I just am excited about it. <laughs> Walk us through the steps of a great deal. Okay, so you have a product A. Okay. And you use a coupon on the product. Got it. All right. Then you get a reward. And then you, so let's say you spent $4 on your first product. Okay. And then you use your coupon to reduce it to $3. Right. Well, the reward is probably $4. So you have essentially made an extra dollar on this item. Then you use that to roll into your next product, mm -hmm. a product B. Mm -hmm. And so then you get, then that one, you could also use a coupon to buy it and okay. receive another reward. Uh -huh. which then you could go back to product A, wash, rinse, repeat, you just keep going <laughs> back and forth. So you're, um, in essence, the, the drugstore is paying you by using rewards yeah. to shop there consistently and, you know, makes everything free. You know what I think happens for me and probably for a lot of people at home is you get the coupon, you get the rewards coupon when you buy something, you know, you buy right. uh, soap product or whatever, day, they yeah. give you the coupons, you take them, you put them in your bag, then you lose them, they expire, they end up in your car, and, You're so and then right. you don't You're use dead. it. You're and and so you, right. you have to be diligent, I guess, about really keeping them in a safe place. Well, or the, you, or the trick is you can use them right then. 
So you buy that. product A right now, receive the reward, and then you just buy product B. And the, the drugstores don't mind this at all because they're analyzed uh -huh. on their transactions. Yes. So you don't leave the store with any rewards. See, so there you go. Starting again. That's yes. the trick. That so you can literally just stand at the counter and, and buy it, use their coupon, and then do it in another transaction? Exactly. Or do you have to walk away? No, you do not have to walk away. Okay. And most of the cashiers are ready for that, too. Oh, um, see, and there you go. There's usually when I get to the cash register, I will say, hey, I'm going to pay three to four times. Is that okay? And every time they're like, oh, sure. We don't really? care. We're here with you, too. How mm -hmm. does store loyalty pay off and all this? Oh, yes. Well, well those rewards make you loyal because you yeah. want to keep going back mm -hmm. and so um so it just it just makes you want to shop there again and again yeah. and again okay. i do have a yeah. favorite drugstore that i prefer you Me know too. but that's just uh, <laughs> just kind of how it goes and you just like you get to know their their system because of those rewards that are loyal so you become loyal and okay. uh, naturally well good stuff and and like we said at the beginning those the drugstores have have so much i mean there's Oh, buy any, anything and everything pretty much definitely there. yes yeah they have a little bit of food and then they have they're not a convenience I mean they're they act like a convenience store but to right. a couponer you can see way more savings that mm -hmm. are potential savings in there that's true tell us Katie about your next couponing workshop okay we have two workshops coming up this week one we will be in um, in uh, in Odessa on Tuesday, April 23rd at 7 p.m. And then I will be out in Orlando uh, this Friday, April 26th at 7 p.m. at Blessed Trinity Catholic Church. Fabulous. Okay, so next week, Katie's going to be back talking about coupon ethics. Quick preview. Yes, let's keep the, the you know, rules in check and just, just do a little review of what, what we're doing here so we don't get out of hand because the drugstores are super <laughs> exciting. So Okay, thank you so much, Katie. Thank you. See you next week. And now, Fox News. Good day, Tampa Bay. Well, this morning, you're probably going to have breakfast, right? Some cereal or pancakes. Well, when you do, here's something to think about. Right now, thousands of people right here in the Bay Area don't have enough to eat. And there is something you can do to help them. Joining me this morning is our friend, TrueCouponing.com's founder, Katie Kiefer. Thanks for joining us, Katie. You're welcome, Alex. Pleasure. So with couponing, uh, you can cut spending, and it puts you in a better position to be able to give to those who need it. And so we want people to know that today is Feed the Bay Sunday. Tell us about that. Yes, today lots of um, congregations at, at churches are going to be given a shopping list. And that shopping list has easy items that you can donate to the food pantries and help stock food pantries. Because, you know, over the winter months they get a little bit depleted. Mm -hmm. And then as we um, come into the summer months, everybody's busy, off with gallivanting on summer vacations and, and headed out together. And so you forget to donate. So this is a great rally, a time for every, you know, the whole Bay Area to come together and just easily give give to um to those who who are not who are less fortunate and not getting to eat tonight so and there's so many of those people right here tell us about buy one give one okay so it you know there's buy one get one right and then what a concept of buy one give one so you're buying one for your family and then you're also eat making it easy to give to someone else and um, how do you do that? Well, a lot with couponers, sale prices go low enough that when you pair it with a coupon, basically the coupon is paying for your item. Mm -hmm. So you're ending up getting lots and lots of items for free, and it is so easy to give a free item. I mean, I know that, you know, we, we give where we buy things and we also give them, mm -hmm. but boy, does it make it easy when you're able to give from something that didn't cost you anything. It was yeah. an additional out of your pocket or out of your family spending, so. Absolutely. And we can also help our troops overseas. We can't forget them. Yes. Tell us how we can actually use expired coupons, I hear, That's to right. help them. Yes, so the military can use coupons up to six months after they've expired at the overseas wow. commissaries. So not locally, not land side, but right. overseas, you, um, military commissaries can use them up to six months after they've expired. Well, really easy way, because people contact me and say, well, how exactly does that work and everything? And you have to cut your coupons and you file them by food or by non, um, non-food items. So one really easy, easy way to start is the P&G insert is an insert that comes monthly and it expires monthly. So this oh, is the latest okay. one that expired on March 31st. So you just cut those out yeah. and put them in a Ziploc bag, throw them in an envelope. You pay the same shipping, whether you're shipping it domestically mm -hmm. to overseas. So you just address it to an overseas commissary and then it makes it super easy and they can use them. We've had people come back to our workshops and say, I was getting your coupon, thank Aww. you. And it just you know makes the whole circle come around where you realize that you're helping people quickly, you know, nice. 
Yes. And I'm sure that means so much to our men and women over there that we're thinking Def of them. Because it's expensive. Every Everything yep. is way more expensive overseas, definitely. Let's talk about this concept of turning trash into treasure. Okay. So, you know, you, you get your newspapers and, and you get more than one when you're a couponer on Sundays. Right. And they all say the same thing. So you only need to read one and the rest of them kind of are like trash to you. You don't need them. Right. So you take those to your local SPCA or Humane Society and they will shred it and use it in those cages and get Aww. double the use so your trash becomes a treasure for them and it reduces their cost it's a win-win all over the place <laughs> I love that you never think of that the, the newspapers just start to pile up and pile up and pile up. well and you put them in recycle and think you're doing something good but yes. this is a way to get another use out of it you know a uh, 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 hands-on use so and our furry friends will appreciate absolutely that, right? yes definitely all right and so you have some couponing workshops coming up right? that's right our workshops are free and this week we will be on Thursday um, April 18th at 7 p.m. in Bradenton at the Salvation Army Worship Center and then this Saturday I'll be I will be at um, at 10 a.m. at Lutz Branch of Christ Church teaching an advanced couponing class there all the workshops are free and you know if um, if you would if someone watching would like to host it and bring us to their church we will come it's free to the venue too so advanced couponing. oh uh, yes and that's <laughs> what we're gonna talk about next week is oh, the great. pharmacies and that is great. advanced right there it's yes. a little bit trickier than just using the coupons at the grocery stores that's easier I, th I think a lot of people will benefit from that next week when we talk about how to save at the pharmacy right definitely because the pharmacies are considered convenience stores you know there and there is there's gems there's hidden hidden treasures in there too <laughs> all right thank you katie thank you for having we me appreciate it oh sure and <laughs> rise and shine this is a good go. day tampa bay all right, it's 744, and we're all looking to save some cash at the grocery store. Many of us clip coupons, but how do you save on items that you don't really find coupons for, like produce, meat? Our guest this morning has the answer. Joining us is the is TrueCouponing.com founder, Katie Keeper. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good great. Good to see Thank you. you. Uh, meats, vegetables, pretty expensive. Expensive. What's uh, how do you save money on those? Okay, the best thing to do is to start a little list called a buy price guide, and basically you're just keeping track of what you buy each week and how much you're spending on those items. Because meat and produce will go down to a lowest price, and then you'll be able to stock up without even using a coupon. So you'll notice that um, chicken and and beef usually around four dollars. Right. It'll go on sale, and it'll eventually chicken will become a dollar seventy a pound, and beef will be around two dollars and fifty cents, and and that's when you would buy and stock up at that mm -hmm. moment. And you'll notice it just keeps going in cycles. Yeah. So, all right, I understand you can probably do this pretty easily with meat because you can freeze it. Exactly. Yeah. Buy it in bulk. But, but produce? Produce that you can freeze too. Mm -hmm. So we just went strawberry picking and, and got tons of strawberries, uh, too many that we would not be able to eat. Right. And then we, if I flash, froze it. I just cut it all up, put it on cookie sheets, and then put it in the freezer for four hours. And now it's in baggies. I'm ready to use it in smoothies and wow. ice cream toppings. Vegetables you, know. you can do the same thing with? You can, yes. Some of them, not all not of them, all but onions some. and peppers, and yeah. those are excellent things to freeze and ha you know prepare ahead of time. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about these uh, produce stands on the side of the road? Uh, can you get good deals there? Definitely, they are much cheaper than the grocery stores, and they'll have the in-season produce. So you'll be you know you'll be ready to buy things that are in season instead of paying too much when it's out of season, and right. you've paid those shipping costs to get there. So you definitely want to stop off at those side produce stands. I'm, gonna, I'm going off script here because i got to ask you something. Where, okay. do you, where do you find a great tomato anymore? A great tomato? Oh, well, Ruskin is the best tomato place area. I know. <laughs> and, it's just sometimes you, in the stores, they just don't, a tomato just doesn't taste like a tomato You're anymore. right. No. And I, I go to a produce stand out in Plant City, and when you walk in, you can smell those tomatoes. They are delicious, delicious. But Ruskin, we go and do bulk, bulk, um, um, Picking. But you're basically telling me you're going to the source to get a good tomato. Yes, All right. exactly. Got it, got it. All right, <laughs> moving on. I'm sorry, I went off there. Talk about <laughs> hidden coupons. What are hidden oh, coupons? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so a lot of times coupons will put out things that we're not aware of. Like when you buy this, you can get money off of that. So when you buy guacamole is a common one, then you can get $2 off of your meat. Well, there you go. You get a small package of meat, and it's basically free just for buying that guacamole. So there are coupons where when you buy this, you get that for free, or you right. get $2 off. and, and and big dollar amounts that'll make that meat and produce cheap. So just look for it when you're shopping. Just look for it in the coupon, in your newspaper yeah. coupons. Those right. will come okay. to you. Okay, got it, got it. Um, couponing workshop coming up. Yes, we have a free workshop this Saturday in Tampa. We're at uh, Forest Hills United Methodist Church at 10 a.m. And it is an advanced couponing class that I'll be teaching about 
the drug stores, how to shop at pharmacies. Okay. Yes. And, and there's another thing you've got coming up, right? That's right. Sunday is one Next week Sunday. from today. That's right. It's Feed the Bay Sunday. And it's where several churches get together and we, um, it's just a big rally to donate food um, to the local food banks and just stock their shelves for the coming summer months. Yeah, you were telling me several churches in the area participate. That's in this, right, right, right. Around 40 churches are participating and we all go shopping. Now, as a couponer, I'll shop ahead of time <laughs> and be ready to donate. I just pull up to the truck and, and each of our kids have a bag and they all give give to the tr truck that's headed to the donation location. That's nice. So, yeah. It, it helps really you nice. bless others, you know. Yeah, very, nice, forward. very nice. Hey, thanks for being here. Thank As you so always, much for having good, us. good to see you. Thank you, you too. Take nice care. to meet you. Nice. And now, Fox 13 meteorologist Dave Osterberg with your Sky Tower Omni forecast. Is there any chance you want to shop for me? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> She's got the coupons. She's got the coupons. I've got the list. I've got the list. <laughs> Grand Court, net camera on this Sunday morning overlooking Bayshore. I can imagine.